Hello guys, in the past I have covered this auto train module from Hugging Face in various videos where I have shown you how to fine tune or train models from different angles. Auto train advanced is one of the most performant, easiest and no code tool to train machine learning models in just either few clicks or through CLI. Personally, I prefer the CLI, but uh, each to their own. I have done videos on both CLI and on GUI. If you're interested, just go to my channel and search here as uh, just type auto train and sh you should be able to get various videos around auto train and by the way, various other tools for fine tuning and training. In this video, I am going to share with you as how to fine tune a sentence performance model from Hugging Face by using your own custom data set. I will be using a data set from Hugging Face, but as long as your data set is in a particular format, you should be able to do it quite easily. Now, before we delve into it, let me tell you what exactly is Sentence Transformer. Sentence Transformers are mainly used for text embedding, semantic search, semantic textual similarity, and their type of Python module that provide access to uses and train state of the art text embedding models. They can also be used for image, but I have seen mostly they are being used for text embedding models. And there are various examples of them like multi QA, all mini LM, and we'll be also using one in this one. So if you're looking to do text classification, sentiment analysis, question answering, then sentence transformers could be a good powerful tool for natural language processing tasks. So that is what sentence transformers is. So let me take you to my local system and there we will try to get this thing installed and run. I am running Ubuntu 22.04 as my virtual machine and I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. For both of these, Best Compute is the company which is sponsoring them. So if you are looking to rent out GPUs on discounted price, I will drop the link in video's description where you can check it out. And you, I will also put uh, in a coupon. If you use that, you will be able to get 50% of discount on the GPU. Certainly performant, no lock-in, very flexible contract. Highly recommend it. Okay, so let's go back to my um, masked compute sponsored VM. Let me clear the screen. Another thing I would highly suggest is that you would install Anaconda. I am running this Anaconda. Let me clear the screen. Let me create the Anaconda virtual environment, which will enable me to keep everything nice, simple and separate. Just press Y here. And that is going to create the conda environment for us. Let's activate it and step into that conda environment. And that is done. Let me clear the screen. Okay. In order to get auto train advanced install, all you need to do is this pip install auto train dash advanced. Press enter and it is going to install it on your local system. Let's wait for it to finish. So auto train advanced is installed took bit of a time let me clear the screen next thing you would need is hugging face username and token id let me show you how you can get that so go to hugging face website which is huggingface.co and i will drop the link in video's description on the top right click on your profile then on settings in the seconds on the settings on the left hand side click on access token and if you don't have any token just click on new token and then just give it any name and then write one because we'll be writing that fine tuned one back to uh, hugging face and for your username on the left you see this is my username so just under your profile picture you have should have your username so let's go back there and let me set my hugging face username and token so let's go back to our terminal in the terminal first set your Hugging face username like this in double quotes, and then also your hugging face token in this environment variable. I'm just going to remove it. 
this is the hugging face token hf underscore token so make sure that you already have set it i have it already done it and now in order to fine tune a model we would need a configuration file with the auto train so let me show you the configuration file which i already have so if you look here what is happening here is that we are defining a task with transformer which is called as triplet now there are different tasks which you can define with the transformers you can define a triplet you can define a question answer you can define um, different pairs for example if i take you back to hugging face this is one of the data set and if i just make it that bit bigger you see in this we have simply an anchor and positive so this is just a pair so if you have three columns that will be something like triplet and then if you have um, triplet means that data set with three sentences anchor positive and negative uh, in this one we have just anchor and positive that for example two blonde women are hugging one another so the positive is there are women showing affection so and similarly you know sometimes there is so there is an anchor and there is a positive when there is a negative one too which is, that is called as triplet so in our example, if I go back, you will see that I am defining that my data set is a triplet. And if you want to see more data set, you go to Hugging Face. This is the Sentence Transformer website. If you scroll all the way down, you will see these are the data set, around 62 of different kinds, Reddit, Parallel Sentences, and you can select any one of them. The only thing which you would need to take care is that the column name which you are specifying match with your um sentence training task for example again this is a pair so and you can read further on the sentence transformer page as which data set is a what so but for a rule of thumb there are two columns question answer or pair and triplet there are three anchor positive and negative as you can see in this data set we just have two it's a pair one so if we add a negative one then it will be the triplet one so for the purpose of our example we are using a triplet and then after specifying we are specifying our project name and then this is just for the visualization if you like we are just running it locally and this is a data set which i just showed you and i'm just asking it to define into trip uh, training split validation split and then i'm just asking it to that there are three columns sentence one is anchor two is positive three is negative so whatever data set you have whatever data you have just make sure to convert it into these three column and you should be good to go after that i am specifying some of the parameters so let me try to explain all of these in very very quickly so for example in this one um, if you look at these max sequence length specifies a maximum length of input sequence uh, epoch specify five which means that this is how uh, number of training epochs batch size is for training and then we are specifying the learning rate for the optimizer and the optimizer is adam w which is quite popular stochastic gradient descent algorithm and then our scheduler is linear uh, and then gradient accumulation steps are just one and mixed precision is floating point 16 and these are the hugging face username and token which we specified so this is a config file which we need to specify and then all there is to remain is to run it with auto train so let me quickly run it okay so i have saved the file let's quickly check the version of auto train this should be the latest one that is good that is there so let's clear the screen and now in order to run it all you need to do is to just specify auto train dash dash config config dot yaml to start fine tuning your model and the auto train has started and it is going to set up our data set then it is going to start the fine tuning do you see it is downloading the data set now and it is going to split it between dev and training and then it is getting our uh, pre-trained base model and now it is starting the training how good is that it is also telling you the eta which is going to do a lot of time as you see here anyway so let's see if that comes down and this loss will start keep coming down here 
I will let it run for a for some time to show you the how the loss comes down and then how it works it. By the way, I just changed it to one epoch from five. So you see that it has proceeded to four percent done now, and the loss has come down gradually. If I just scroll up, this is what it has been running for the last few minutes. Not few minutes, I think 15, 20 minutes. And you see that this loss is coming down. And this is our learning rate, how it is learning, which and these are all the parameters which we have specified. So there you go, almost 10 minutes passed, 4% is done. And ETA is around four hours. So I'm not going to sit for four hours. So you see that how easy it is to fine tune or train your sentence transformers for text classification, question answer, that's that sort of text. So just to summarize, for your own use case, if you have a data set in just uh, convert, or, or if you have just have a data, convert it into question answer or this anchor pair, um, or maybe anchor positive negative, and then from there, uh, just feed it into this, and that's it all you need to do is to just grab this config file set it up run auto train on all you go so that's it guys i hope that it was useful if you have any questions please let me know if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching